Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in computer organization that is RISC and CISC. RISC and CISC. So what is this RISC and CISC? So actually we will be having the instruction sets and based upon the architecture there are two different types of architecture for this particular instruction set. So, those are this RISC and CISC. So, RISC architecture is, stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer. Okay. And similarly, CISC Complex instruction set computer so these are the abbreviations based upon the architecture the instruction set will be differentiated with these two categories coming to this risk here it simplifies hardware architecture hardware architecture to execute instruction in the execution of instruction okay in execution of instruction right it, it always simplifies the architecture okay it always simplifies the architecture and the advantages of this particular risk are so as the name itself indicates, the instructions are simple. Instructions were simple. And obviously fast execution. The execution will be fast because so the instructions will be very simple. So execution will also be fast. And also it is high cost or uh, power consumption, high power consumption, oh, sorry, sorry, it's a low power consumption, actually it's a low power consumption, right, and there are some disadvantages, some disadvantages, so obviously it, it requires a more number of instructions to complete the complex task. So actually these are instructions are very simple. So simple task can be easily executed by this risk architecture. But need more instructions to complete complex task. Complex task. So obviously it requires more amount of memory, right? More, uh, yeah, more amount of memory, and also it is high cost. Okay. Right? Then coming to the another architecture which is CISC, it is a complex instruction set computer. Right? So mainly here this is used to perform single instruction. single instruction for various operations various operations like loading storing evaluating for everything for all these operations it requires only the single instruction right now what are the advantages of using this one is obviously uh, 
it requires less memory it requires a less memory and uh, widely used architecture because of less expensive and automatically code is reduced code is reduced because multiple operations can be performed using the single instruction so automatically code has been reduced so these are all the different advantages of using this sister architecture coming to the disadvantage what is the disadvantage so some complex design because we need to perform all the operations in the single instruction so complex design and uh, slow execution because even though the instruction is single it should perform a different operation so slow execution the execution will be very slow and if the execution is slow more power will be consumed so more power consumption will be there more power consumption will be there right so these are the few advantages and disadvantages of sisk and risk so this both are the architecture computer architectures based upon the instruction set right so this is a complete overview of risk and sisk now we'll see the differences what are the differences so we we'll write the same points in a different manner right so let us write what are the major differences between sisk and risk so i'll represent sisk here and risk here so first one the abbreviation we can write it's a complex instruction uh, set for computers complex instruction set computer right this is the first and here we can write the abbreviation reduced instruction set computer right and this is a hardware centric sisk is the hardware centric hardware centric design it is a hardware centric design and this is a software centric design software centric design right so this will be used in hardwired control unit so we have seen the control unit in two parts what is hardwired and micro programmed so here it is a hardwired used in hardwired control unit and it is suitable for micro programmed control unit micro program control unit and coming to here the instruction will take more than one clock cycle to complete its execution because one instruction will be having a multiple operation so that's the reason so instruction takes more than one clock cycle one clock cycle to complete its execution to complete its execution right but here this is a simple instructions these are the simple instructions so here the instruction takes only one clock cycle one clock cycle to complete its execution okay and here and here these are the complex instructions and variable length instructions but here these are the simple instructions and a fixed length instructions so this sisk architecture consists of complex and variable length instructions variable length instructions whereas 
risk consists of simple and fixed length instructions fixed length instructions and this it will be using more number of addressing modes it uses more number of addressing modes so we have seen different addressing modes right so this cisc architecture will be using more number of addressing modes and here it uses less number of less number of addressing modes addressing modes and it requires or it uses less number of registers okay it uses less number of registers and it uses more number of registers in order to store the values right and here this is it uses a less number of registers so this is called as a memory based design okay memory based architecture we can call it as an architecture okay so this is a memory based architecture memory based architecture it's a memory based architecture and this is register based architecture as it is using a more number of registers and this is a register based architecture okay and it uses less number of uh, i mean less amount of memory that means more efficient usage of memory so less memory is required less ram is required and whereas it requires more ram is required more ram is required here and so high power consumption will be there here high power consumption and here it requires a low power consumption low power consumption and here the decoding of instructions is difficult because one instruction will be having a multiple operations so decoding of instructions is difficult and here the decoding becomes simple decoding of instructions is simple and easy simple and easy so these are the differences between the cisc architecture and the risc architecture so complex instruction set computer and reduced instruction set computer so only one difference so here one instruction will be used for load evaluate and store for all the kind of operations but here it will be in independently the instructions will be designed so based upon the instructions we can say the power consumption is more ram is more and all these things will be uh, depends upon these differences right so hope you enjoyed the session so you you might be having an idea about the differences between risk and cisc architectures right so let's stop here and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much